In the previous episode of Road Tripping with a GoPro Man, we introduced his trusty partner in adventure, Banu, who spoke about being a pillion and shared with us her valuable experience. This time, we dig deep into the personal side of the GoPro Man to explore the character and the man behind the name. So there's another really inspiring aspect of uh, the life of GoPro Man is is the fact that uh, when most of us are trying to reduce trash, this man hardly even generates trash. He somehow manages to live, I mean, without using much of plastic and you know the things we can buy off the shelf and you know try and waste. So, so there's a big impact of reduction and uh, dirt control uh, going on in his life. So let me ask just a question to him. So how do you manage it, man? How do you manage? Uh, you know, not generating trash. What do you do? We we we'll have to buy chips. We buy this and that. You know, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I actually started off like uh, just like any uh, unaware, like a you know, normal tourist. Like I don't drink to all. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like about. You started years. off like us. I started <laughs> off like ten years back or something, and then uh, whenever we go to places like that, it's. If you see that it's trashed and like you actually get angry seeing that you you went there all the way to see the beauty of the place and it gets disturbed by the plastic and the people tra- tra- I mean trash everywhere. So that's when I realized okay I should actually like uh, do not trash wherever mm-hmm. the place I go. And we don't really buy any of the I mean we don't we don't like the packed food anyways but and. We never buy anything that we, like a pack which has a ch- chips or anything, yeah, which plastic, is plastic packages, packages. Yeah. and we don't buy water bottles now. Okay. Like we <coughs> drink the co- local water. So you like go local with I, food and with water. Everything yeah. we uh, go local. Even uh, what we do, uh, like I have a hydration pack. Uh, so whenever I like uh, we stop for a place. Mm-hmm. Like from the local jug, actually we fill up. Oh, you water. refill. Oh, okay. so, so they actually yeah. go ahead, search for things to eat that are made locally, uh, right there, so that it doesn't come in any packaging. So, uh, local foods or local water like that is key to actually not generating so much of trash in the first place. Exactly, and uh, even the like, there are few hacks you can do, like not getting the like, shampoo sh- sachet and also it will actually generate up. Uh, mm-hmm. so, so we carry a body wash which is like a big big pack, so it will actually last for last year, uh, so there's m- m- lesser plastic. Lesser plastic. I mean, it, whatever we are doing is still not actually perfect. There are many ways we can still reduce it. We are still like uh, whatever the options which we can do from like our capacity. We'll actually try to reduce that as much as possible. I can't. I can't say that I'm like a perfect one. I, I'm, I'm still doing it. I'm actually trying to raise the same awareness in my channel through mm-hmm. the channel as well. So this is a need of the hour. As oh. of now, I guess that's you can see all the shit from happening around. Yeah, that yeah, that's, a, that's uh, a key point. How the sea is actually getting polluted. Yeah. So this, this would be. A, I mean, way, this is the only way for for, for us, for us right? to even survive in this planet. <laughs> exactly. So there you go, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, if you're into saving the planet, you know what to do. <laughs> As we've mentioned in the past, Arun really cannot sit still at a place like this. Barely a few questions into the interview and we're off again in the hunt for landscapes and life on two wheels. Okay, so you were asking about like why I like uh, oh, yes. riding here. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So there, there are a number of reasons, uh, the, especially the rain. Uh, it's because uh, I always feel like you are actually more connected to nature when it's actually raining because uh, in a car when you go, even if it rains, you are always disconnected by like a, with a distance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's protected. Protected. Yeah. So in when you are actually on motorcycle and it's raining. You are like, there is no like a gap between the you and the nature. I always feel that like the entire the Western Ghats and the Kerala which is like the more greener and more nature uh, like uh, I mean compared to any other part of like uh, India. If you go towards north, it's not exactly the, the evergreen, I mean, forest, evergreen yeah. forest and everything. So this is where actually it connects me more and especially the rain which like 
the I, I always say this actually. Whenever there is a rain, right, the, the nature brings out its like best colors. Best color, yeah. And that too, if you are doing it the same in summer, it's all like brown. You don't really feel that much, but the, the monsoon is uh, amazing, and that's where I actually feel like uh, that's when I keep all my rides. You know, the entire monsoon. I try to ride almost every other weekend <laughs> or every other leave I can get. I'll actually try to get out of the nature. So you heard it from the GoPro man himself, why he loves nature, why he loves the rain. So we'll go a little deeper and ask him a little more, uh, you know, a little more specific questions uh, to let you know what really is the essential thing about riding in the rain. So I'm curious to know, Arun, how do you pack for it? How do you pack for the for a rain ride? Because as you know, there's a lot of uh, you know problems when it comes to rain and things get wet. So I want to know what your what you have. To tell us okay uh, there are like uh, multiple things the first thing would be having a you know pro I mean proper gear uh, mm -hmm. that is like your riding gear so your jacket with uh, it has the I mean with the raincoat mm -hmm. and the rain pants and uh, I so few people I mean again it's again with the preference few mm -hmm. people doesn't really want to get their feet wet uh, because that's the most irritating thing for some of them and for me, I really, I don't mind. What about for the luggage and for, for all the, you know, pa uh, your panniers and all that? How do you keep your yeah. uh, luggage dry? So, for the saddlebags, there are like uh, two liners. I mean, uh, mine, I have like an external liner as well and there is an inliner as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so, where you'll actually keep whatever the essential stuff which doesn't want you, I mean, to get wet. So, mm -hmm. you can actually keep them wrapped. Uh, before that, I mean, it didn't have an inliner. So if you don't have an inliner as well, then you can kind of like, uh, I mean, put everything, whatever you pack, right? Put it in a separate polythene bag. So you, oh. you always find a polythene bag. So you so just wrap your things around a polythene thing bag and, and then put it. it. Yeah. So oh. even if your bag, see, bag is like, it can get wet even if you like have a rain inliner or anything because they, it cannot go like around the. It's not bag. fully yeah. waterproof. Yeah. It's not fully waterproof. So avoid that like you can actually uh, have this as a like a secondary measure so right. that it, uh, water goes in the way water goes in the dress well, your stuff well, will, be yeah, dry. will be dry so i still have a lot of questions man dude it's 7 a.m i'm already hungry oh breakfast yes let's go for breakfast let me not keep you hungry yeah <laughs> Finally, we have been secured and I'm actually getting to eat fish curry. <laughs> well, it's fish he wanted and it's fish he got. Happy! <laughs> so happy, so good. Okay, so this is a hotel which I'm actually checking the map, it's not on the maps now. So I usually do like whenever I find the local food, I mean, you have like amazing food here. So we have just like you drop the pin and then add a missing place so i actually add it in the note uh, maps so that they'll actually get a I mean, uh, it gets discovered more and they get a new customer so arun with full stomachs and dusty rides let me get back to those questions yeah bear sure. with me i have just a few questions yep. the tires so how, what's your uh, uh, take on the tires and you know, how, how do you keep them or what, what tires do you use? Okay, uh, especially for the monsoon, mm -hmm. uh, like if, you go, if you're going for like a more uh, like a rain rides and like the, the most important part of your bike is actually the tires. The tires. According to me, like braking and all comes, I mean, as equal to that, but the tires is what actually like uh, I mean, keeps you safe on the wet roads, right, right, and right. also like with gravel, because when on wet roads you can't even make out sure like whether there is like enough gravel or something. Yeah, yeah you can't even make out potholes. Yeah, exactly, potholes as well. It, it looks like it's just some water, you know, on yeah. there, but that's like a big <laughs> hole of <laughs> like almost yeah, yeah. like a well, you know. You can lose and your balance also. Exactly. That actually brings me up to um, ABS. So you. Your bike doesn't have ABS, right? Yeah, this doesn't have ABS. So your, 
you're okay with it you, you know, manage I, i i still actually people who ever i mean suggest me so i normally suggest them that i mean ask me if you like question you should go for abs i always say that you should always go for abs mm-hmm. unless you are like a rally rider or someone who's really that i mean I, my skills are like almost here <laughs> so that's that's being too <laughs> modest ladies and gentlemen mind it because for, uh, and unless you are like a I mean you are very good with like off roads and like you you know probably <laughs> uh, but yeah the ab is yeah. always helps would suggest ab as too yeah. yeah there you heard it from the gopro man himself tips on how to ride in proper torrential south indian rain use it and live longer okay now if you see around it's all getting cloudy i guess it's, it's time, time to ride be riding yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on let's ride It's only a couple of days that we spent with Arun and Banu on the road and off it adventuring on two wheels like joyful children soaking in the pristine environment around us yet it almost feels like we've been doing this for months every route every path every little detour still so vividly burning in our memories victories and adversity is all shared and ultimately dissolved in the mirthful present a time where you appreciate a simple turn of the handlebar more than the burdensome deal of a thousand incredible thoughts where you're in touch with the land the locals and their ways cued by small little story tales from strangers or simply by the desire to muck about in the rain fed rivulets in these few days we had experienced a true explorer's life been lost in its rhythm of curiosity and felt reborn by every ounce of life lived in it for that we owe a big ton of gratitude to our anirun the gopro man